So, you put together your next web scraping project. You found the data you want to scrape and set up your scraper to extract it. But there's a problem. Your web scraper is being blocked by the website you want to extract data from. As web scraping becomes bigger, some websites will block you from scraping their website. While this can be very frustrating, the fix is quite easy. We are Parsub, and today we'll show you 5 ways you can web scrape a website without getting blocked. So let's get started. Number 1. IP Rotation Sometimes, when a website notices that an unfamiliar bot or spider is crawling their website, they'll note the IP address they are coming from. They'll then add this IP address to a temporary or permanent block list. This way, they can prevent unfamiliar bots or spiders from crawling or scraping their website. Unfortunately, this applies to web scrapers too, which can result in your web scraper not scraping any data at all. Now, how exactly can you get around IP blocks from websites when trying to scrape data? Well first, we recommend you use a web scraper that runs in the cloud. This way, the web scraper is not running off of your local IP address. Second, and most importantly, you'll want to enable IP rotation on your cloud-based web scraper. IP rotation will let your web scraper use a different IP every time it makes a request from a website. If you want to learn more about IP rotation, you can watch our video by clicking on the top right corner of this video. Number 2. Proxies Another option is using proxies. Our friends at Proxyway will take it from here. Hi, we're proxy enthusiasts and researchers from Proxyway.com. It's pretty clear from our website name that the thing that we like to talk about the most is proxies. So let's dive right in. When scraping a website, your web scraper can often be identified and blocked based on your IP address. IP recognition is the first line of defense that websites use. If you exceed the number of requests a website allows to make or connect using a bad quality IP address, you'll likely encounter a capture or your IP might even get blocked. To avoid that, you can use proxies. A proxy server acts like a middleman. It sends requests to a website and retrieves the data for you. While doing so, it will mask your IP address with its own. Web scraping requires thousands of connection requests. You can't possibly do that from a single IP. So people often use rotating proxies. Some choose rotating data center proxies for their speed and affordable price. But the best way to hide your IP address and to mimic human-like behavior is by using rotating residential proxies. But which proxy provider is the best for web scraping without getting blocked? To answer this and similar questions, we went ahead and tested major proxy providers for our annual proxy market research. It's an extensive, illustrated, 47-page analysis of the eight leading residential proxy services. In total, we made over 16 million connection requests throughout more than three weeks. You can find the link to the research in the description below. During our research, we tested proxies based on many criteria relevant for web scraping, such as speed, composition of proxy IP pools, success rate, and stability. For example, our tests for composition of proxy pools show that Oxylabs, Smart Proxy, and Bright Data have the highest percentage of IPs registered under mobile and landline internet services. It means that these proxies are very hard to distinguish from regular users and less likely to get blocked by the website you're scraping. Considering these and other performance tests we completed for your next web scraping project, we would recommend to choose from these residential proxy providers. Oxylabs, Smart Proxy, Bright Data, NetNut, or GeoSurf. For more detailed reviews on each of these providers, visit our website proxyway.com or our YouTube channel Proxyway. See you there. Thanks guys. Now let's continue the other ways you can scrape data without getting blocked. Number three, switch user agents. Similar to IP rotation, you can switch user agents when scraping. A user agent is a string that a browser or application sends to each website you visit. A string usually contains data like the application type, operating system, software vendor, and software version of the requesting software user agent. Some websites will examine user agents and block requests from user agents that don't belong to a major browser. For Parsub, if your project does not have IP rotation enabled, your runs will have the following user agent. If your project does have IP rotation enabled, Parsub will rotate through a variety of user agents. Number four, solving CAPTCHA services or a feature. Some websites ask you to solve CAPTCHA to access their data. 
This is one of the most common ways websites will crack down on web crawlers and scrapers. In short, CAPTCHA is a response that is used to determine if the user is human or not. Some websites will implement CAPTCHA to their website to detect bots and will prevent their website from getting scraped if the CAPTCHA isn't solved. Luckily today, there are several solutions available like CAPTCHA solving services and features to solve this problem. Some web scrapers will allow you to add CAPTCHA solvers to your project to scrape CAPTCHA enabled websites. Number five, slow down the scrape. Some powerful web scraping tools can extract large amounts of data in just a few minutes. However, since this doesn't look natural or human-like, some websites will detect this and further prevent future web scraping and even block you. You can slow down your scrape by adding some time delay to your request, using a wait command, or limiting the number of workers on your project. Slowing down your web scraping will seem more natural and will lower the risk of you getting blocked. And there you have it. You have five ways you can web scrape data without getting blocked. If you're looking for a web scraper that can scrape data without getting blocked, we think you'll enjoy Parsub. It's free to use and download. The download link is in the description. If you're having trouble with any web scraping project, you can contact our customer support team using our live chat, where they'll be more than happy to assist you. Thanks for watching this video. Check us out at parsub.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on web scraping, data, and the internet. Happy scraping.